Hey guys, what's up? Back with another lesson in the Bluehost and WordPress series of videos. Today let's talk about Bluehost. Uh, so what is Bluehost? It's a web hosting solution. When you build a website, where does all the data, where is it all stored? This is something that you might not have thought about if you've never built a website before. And the internet, it seems magical, you know, there's all this content floating around, it's just, you know, you just hook up your computer to the Wi-Fi and you can access all of this information, all these videos and photos and, and data and documents, but where is it? Is it just floating around in space? No. And that's one thing that, you know, can be a little bit confusing if you've never even th sat down and thought about it. All your data is actually being stored somewhere on a computer or a server uh, for, you know, for Facebook, for example. <clears throat> Facebook has millions and millions of users and all of the data, all of the profiles, all of the images that you upload to Facebook, it's being hosted by Facebook on their servers. And they must have terabytes and terabytes and whatever's above a terabyte, millions of terabytes of, of storage for all the data that they store. For a smaller version, uh, smaller website, you also have to be able to store your footage, or not your footage, your storage, your data on a hosting service. There's lots out there. You know, GoDaddy is a big one. Uh, there's, I forget what the name is, Gator or something, <laughs> WebGator, something like that. Um, there's lots of different hosting services out there. But Bluehost is really the one that I think is the best. And I'm saying this honestly because I use it. I've used the other ones. And the Bluehost has never had, I've never had any problems with it. Bluehost has unlimited storage. Um, it has unlimited domain hosting for one account. So you can sign up for one account and purchase as many domains as you want. Most other serv hosting services, you have to pay Per, you have to pay for the, the hosting per domain that you buy. You can have unlimited email accounts, which is something that a lot of other, other hosting services don't, don't include. You'll have to pay, you know, you'll get your 10 free email accounts, um, but you'll have to pay for the next 50 or whatever. So what does that mean? An email account for your website is when you see, say, for example, I have a support at videoschoolonline.com account so people can email that account and that's really great because it makes you look professional you don't have a Yahoo or a Gmail account I know I still use Gmail for a lot of stuff I even have a video school online at gmail dot com account um, that I use um, just because I love how Gmail is uh, works and I actually forward my email from support at videoschoolonline.com to my Gmail account. But the appearance of it, having that email at your website.com or .org or whatever, it looks really professional. And Bluehost gives you unlimited emails. Um, and I've never had a problem with Bluehost. I've heard horror stories from other people who host elsewhere that you know, the servers crashed and it took days to get back up and running. Never had a problem with Bluehost. I've never had to call Bluehost uh, for anything, for customer service, um, which is a great sign. But I have heard that if you do have questions, they're the easiest to get through. And the price is great. You know, you might be able to find a cheaper price, for, you know, a dollar a month less. But for what Bluehost offers, it's the best. And so Bluehost, a web hosting solution, I hope you understand that. It hosts all of your videos and photos. So when you're building your site and you are posting a new blog and you're typing out your blog post and you're adding pictures um, that you took on your last vacation or whatever, once you upload it, it's uploading to the servers of Bluehost, wherever they're located. I'm not exactly sure but it's being stored there so that you don't have to s store it on your computer. Because if you stored it on your computer, every time someone clicked on your website, they would be basically pulling that information from your computer. And you couldn't do that. It'd be impossible. Well, I'm sure computer geeks could do it, but I'm not that. I don't know that much about creating a website and hosting it yourself. 
you'd probably have to have a separate server. But basically, p to access a website, they have to be able to access the files. And so if it was on your computer or your servers, people would be accessing your equipment, and that would bog down your equipment. And you probably wouldn't have enough, have the quality or the speed to have hundreds of users viewing your site at one time. But by using Bluehost, they have, you know, all the latest serving serving uh, solutions, hosting solutions. And so, you know, you can have hundreds and thousands upon thousands of viewers looking at your website at the same time, and it'll be fine. So I hope you understand that, what Bluehost is. Next, we're going to be talking about how you actually purchase Bluehost, your Bluehost account. So I'll see you in that lesson. Bye.